Chapter 10, Frustration A long silence ensued between the human and the giant Cyrethelion. Said Sin asked her, Poir, do you have a name? Nerea, she responded. Well, Nerea, what do you do down here? Cyrethelians are gardeners. But I can't see a single plant, Sedson said while looking over his shoulder, looking out into the endless void of metal and mist. Gardeners also take care of the tools they use to make things grow, Nerea explained. Are you working on something specific today? He asked. No, I'm new here. I walk among the Agrians to learn more how to better oversee their relations with the Terrahipsians. Sedson lightly clinked his legs together. I want to live on Terrahip. I want to live a comfortable life. He looked up. I've never seen the surface. I was hiding in a locked chest during the entire trip from Dutvutan. <sighs> Nerea then said, I can help you get a home if you promise me to separate your urges from your wishes. Sedson looked up at Nerea with raised eyebrows. You will? You can just easily help me with that? He asked with slight hope. Cirithelians like me just live to help. It is not even a task given to us. If we can clearly see that you cannot easily fulfill something that is important to you, we step in. Sedson felt a sense of relief from this. First intimidating angel, now she is just an angel. He slightly teared up. Even him looking away. Neria could see it. <gasps> he felt a warm touch against his left hand. It was hers, open and wanted to accept his other hand. He stepped down from the railing and held on to it. Her large fingers enveloped his wrist. Nerea gently pulled him up and moved him over to sit on her shoulder. Now that I have you on my side, I will take you to a place where you will find further help from others. She said, while walking off and away along the infinite road, 